This is Ballnamic uh, ball fitting online, uh, unbiased uh, ball selector. Um, I'd already filled in a few details uh, about my ball, which is a tour response by TaylorMade. Um, you get the options to actually fill in your driver details first, how you hit the ball, what your distance is, um, your launch angles and spin. Um, and what's a bit different from this is, A, you can actually put in your actual numbers if you know them. I didn't, so I, I skipped from this. But unlike uh, other, other tools, you have the option to... Um, say what your sort of desired preferences are. So I would actually prefer to hit um, a higher trajectory, but um, I did this sort of automatic one for this, and it came up with mid, so I didn't bother changing it on this uh, go. I did have a few uh, other efforts uh, to see if I could get some different results as well, because the outcome of this was rather interesting, so sh shall we say that, shall we say? Um, then they have the same sort of information for 7-iron. Again, carry distances and what your launch angle and spin rate is and how important they are uh, in the grand scheme of things. Um, again, it um, gives you ca automatic calculations or you can, you can uh, do it yourself as well. I think that the difference, like I say, is you, you can actually... Um, specify what kind of uh, shots you would actually like and with regards to the the wedges which is often a thing you find like on the online fitting with well like wedges or even balls they uh you don't really have this much of an option i went for the any price thing and um yeah i was let's see what happens There'll be a little pause at the moment because it goes through all the obligatory stuff and then there'll be a sign up in a second once it's loaded. But the outcomes of this are pretty interesting. I was very surprised. So here we go, we can see it's actually a, a pay for service, but it says there's a chance to improve my driving by 17 yards which is worth looking at of course if this doesn't uh, jeopardize my short game or whatever then this might be worth doing um, interesting the Bridgeton BX came up as number one uh, mostly for distance I would say actually distance and driving in the wind and actually seven iron as well so distance overall was uh, the top ball um, mine was quite close to the bottom, though I think from the spin and, and, and various things, it wasn't as bad as I perhaps expected. But like I say, 17 uh, yards is, is significant. The interesting thing for me is that I know the BX already, because I have been looking for golf balls this year. And I've been through the online fitting on, on Titleist and TaylorMade, but of course they're very biased to, to their own brand. But knowing about Bridgeton, the recommendation there is that they, um, they're for swing speeds of 105 and up. And I've just hit 105 now, so I don't know whether I'm quite suitable for this. Anyway, this gives you an option to compare the balls in a few different categories, particularly around the drives. And um, you can see that the Bridgeton is slightly lower trajectory, uh, but overall distance is, uh, is quite significant. And again, because of the tra trajectory, it's um, a bit longer. And 7-iron also, a bit more in the air. So it'll be very interesting to see how I go with this and whether I um, proceed. I did multiple versions of this, but they actually all came out with the Bridgeton BX as the top ball for me. So let's see. But I'd like to thank uh, I'd like to thank Ballnamic for the option to have a little play and see what it was like. It was enjoyable, and let's see what happens next.